Pull up the block up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah, yeah. Better yeah. off the worst, I took the good with I'm the bad, yeah. yeah. I done took a ride in the hell, that one I done took a roll down, where they kill me? To another episode of Lit Podcast, you know how we do. We bring the hottest artist, artists and legendary artists, the up and coming artists. You know what I'm saying, and everything in between. Excuse me, right quick, as I uh, adjust my goddamn mic, I'm tripping. But uh, today, you know what I'm saying, I got a real caring guest. You know what I'm saying, my partner. You know what I'm saying, my friend. You know what I'm saying, a legendary. You know what I'm saying. Matter of fact, also a pioneer for y'all that don't know. You know what I'm saying, because it takes a lot to build a record label, and I mean to build a legacy being a part of a record label and taking a record label to new heights you know what i'm saying so that's being a pioneer in itself so today you know what i'm saying uh, on lit podcast we got uh froze on it what's up man hey man yeah. say man it's man, it's man. You three can way pull, man. man you can pull that hole in clint uh more if you need to there you go Shit. yeah hey man, say man i appreciate you coming out fucking with me man how you been doing man i've just been trying to stay active stay working you know mm. what i'm saying Stay, stay on my mission, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, as I'm getting older, I learn how the different ways to pass the torch, you know what I'm saying? So, right now, I'm just, I'm focused on the team, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Got my boy T-Mac, Black Chow. Shout out T-Mac. Yeah, got my boy Killer Black, you know Killer what I'm talking Black about? Killer Black in the building. I got my nigga CB, you know CB, what I'm saying? CB, yeah, right next to me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> CBY, you know what I'm yeah. talking about? Straight, straight like that. Got them Grove boys in the building with me tonight, boy. Grove side, Grove What's side. What did they say? Greedy Grove, yeah, man. Greedy, say, greedy. man. Bro, got some history. Mm -hmm. Cause that that boy, that is big. Yes, sir. A lot of people don't know the grow big. Yes, sir. But you can end, end up all the way over the uh, the East Dallas. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Fuck around in the Grove. South Dallas, fuck around in the Grove. The Fox Road, fuck around mm -hmm. in the Grove. Mm -hmm. Mesquite, fuck around in the Grove. Yeah, like, right. shit. Yeah, this right there. This all the action shit, man. So uh, we're going to jump right in there today, man. Now, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And we're gonna run down through that. <coughs> the first line of question I wanna ask about, I want I wanna get your perception <coughs> and what do you think about Jay Pence Jr. and his father are running the loaded dice game that got Duke, uh, Duke the Jilla kill and take off kill. <coughs> what I think about that, man. Cause I know you've been hearing about it. Oh yeah, I've been, you know, keep my eyes to the motherfucking streets, seeing what's going on. Man, that, that shit was all crazy, man. One thing I kind of say is, uh, they should have, they should have had their security shit together a little bit more better than that. You know what I'm talking about? You don't have that boy in some weird situations like that. You know what I'm right. talking about? Y'all gotta protect the bag at all times. They go for his team too. You know right. what I'm saying? Gotta protect the bag, man. Y'all know, man. Come on, take off. Come on, man. Yeah, I know, man. That's a sad situation, man. So, what's your thoughts? Do you feel that, like? Jay Prince or Jay Prince Jr. will even do anything like that, or you, or you just think it's just internet talk? I think that's just internet talk, cause right. I don't think, I don't think, like both situations, I don't think they had nothing to do with that. It's just the, the people in the surrounding, you know, from being in the streets and the trenches, I done been around stuff like that on the regular, so I right. know how it go. They just like, the niggas was in the, the niggas was in a bad situation. Bad man. situation. Yeah. Check this out. I want you to check out what WAC 100 said, man. This is very funny to me. Now, Get according to WAC 100, Low Camp Fifth and another man accidentally passed the loaded dice yeah. to Duke the Jeweler. So, because they passed the loaded dice to yeah, Duke the Jeweler, Duke the Jeweler was able to win all night and made up with, with a lot of money. And because they understand the mistake they made, they wanted their money back, which led to them coming back and killing Duke the Jeweler to get their money back. All That's bro, That's entertainers. Crazy. When you go to Houston, stay away from J. Prince Jr. A whole play going on. Here go the play right here. The play is a loaded dice. Now I'm gonna talk about something. Let me see if y'all catch up with them. Y'all catch up with them. Yeah, I got something crazy to say. The entertainers act like you cover for them, hanging out. Everything is cool. Let's go here, let's go there, let's go here, let's go there. He introduces so. the dice game. <coughs> he got three mother... <coughs> right? 
who rotate the dice. Now these dice is loaded. The, tell me, it's a wolf, big caprice, and watch this, and little cam. Or the loaded he dice all rotate. three. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right? I mean. He said what? He like that there was a situation that occurred. Oh. That a certain jeweler. Third, third in the window. Round. You know, and got past the dice. Or or back thing, it, she was on, uh, and was hitting all them for a couple hundred. Ooh. They got irritated about that. I ain't going to go too far into that story because. So. I remember the lady from 227. And that's where she also play and she also played and um Master P on bottom and she said, Nigga said, where you get that weed from? Nigga, Square Bidding. Columbia motherfucker. You Square know what I'm saying? Man. Square Bidding, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh uh, what was that? Don't drink the juice while in the hood. Some mm -hmm. whatever mode. Mm -hmm. Nigga say, nigga say, come on, grandma, mama. Nigga said, nigga get pushed shit out of it. He said, nigga, you still here like a bitch. Nah, I'm square bit, that's but shit. He say that the loaded dice. They Man. accidentally passed it to Duke the jeweler. So Duke was hitting all night. And then they wanted their money back. And that's how he ended up. Man, <coughs> first thing I got to say is, I've been watching Wack a long time. Yeah. And he don't never had no receipts to the shit he be talking about. First of all, let's right. start right there. Right. He don't never had a receipt to, he said some shit about Nip in the past. About a nigga did this and that in the hotel room and shit, and everybody was like, nigga, bring it out. What, what a proof at? <coughs> so he he just be, to me, all that shit just cap, because he can't, I mean, show a nigga some proof of some of this shit you talking about, whack. Why you always screaming on Pyro and shit? Nigga get tired of hearing it. <laughs> Say, nah, for, I, be, I be listening to him. You know what I'm saying? But I be thinking Wack be getting information from other people online as well, too. He do. You know what I'm saying? Because it be other people I already done been talked about it. I'm putting it out there and then he just take the story and <coughs> put them together which way this go. This right here. It tastes like some yum yams, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got, got me bring some tears. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bring some tears to the nigga. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how you know a nigga getting pulled through. Yeah, nigga, so. You know what I'm saying? Nigga roll up, get, lit, get lit, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and I, I'm, I'm glad you brought it up when he talked about Nipsey because he also stated this. So. Eric Holder was not a lone actor in that. If you go back and follow the detail, <coughs> Nip and Big U got into it. Big U hit Nip Daddy across the head with a bat. His brother had to come out and shoot the gun. Hey, y'all get out. Say, Nip, come on, nigga, we finna come beat you. Because I don't want to pay that $20,000. You say it's over this. <laughs> like what? Nigga, only, you only was either laughing because you, two things, you was either going to put the work in, get the get this nigga knocked off yourself, or, God damn it, you had something to do with it. You know, he's locked up, so you didn't not get him knocked out for none of that, so nigga, hold this on. This big you are here. Yeah. You're not going to tell me which way, though. Justice for death. Yeah, justice for death. Yeah, you got to tell me like, well, it's hey. two different things. He could be trolling, right? Because you know they had beef, and mm -hmm. then you know, you know how it right. is with the forties and the sixties. You know that that Kelly stuff. That politics. I don't want to talk too much about their politics, but what I can say is oh. though, he could be trolling. Go on. You know what I'm saying? Or he could be just you know talking about some <coughs> shit that that uh, shit they can feel like. Nigga, I feel like it's an inside play on Nip anyway. That whole shit was an inside play. And you know, after a while, a hit dog on holler, nigga gonna show that hand, you know what I'm saying? Right. Especially if a nigga feel like it's it's a cold case on side. I mean you already got that nigga, so Why well, not? Nah, they locked old boy. Yeah, they got old boy. Yeah, so they they give him sixty. Huh? What? How many they give him sixty? I forgot how many years. They gave him like Eric Holder. Yeah, Eric Holder. You know what I'm saying? They locked him up. But uh, Black Sound had did an interview. I saw that last night. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I was trying to see what was your thoughts on how Big Sound indirectly involved Big U. You know what I'm saying from the Rolling Sixties and the you know the unaliving of uh, Nipsey Hussle. 
by paying for the hit. Yeah, cause you afford it. And uh what I what I think uh I think Sam, he owns something right there. Right. Cause that shit just ain't real like that. Right. And then you know, that's the old school way of how a nigga used to do stuff anyway. You know, you finna go to the enemy hood, you gotta put that other color on. You know, some back in the day shit, you know, Cali, they got just they still on that shit. Man, yeah, they still on that. So hey, it was he was telling it in so many ways, you know what I'm saying? And he was trying to really be careful from walking that water and telling it. You know, I think that the interview he had with Big Boy TV, that was mm -hmm. a powerful interview. It took five years. It was five years, That's you know crazy. what I'm saying? And then he told this side of the story. It's just like... That's great. That's just like the Keefe D nigga. Yeah, the Keefe D. By, right? by Pop. Yeah, by Pop, yeah. That shit sound crazy, but I can't believe that nigga. I sure he keeps saying Puffy. Yeah. John Puffy gave, or gave him a million dollars. And you know, didn't. Puffy, that he was, he showed us that was his car that Usher was in when Puffy was promoting Usher at that right. time. That, that blessing. And that that uh, the, the Impala. Mm -hmm. And he was like, he, he asked, every time they come to LA, he asked to use this shit, you know. That's believable, because Brooklyn mm -hmm. niggas, you know, out that way, they locs out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On some New York shit. Mm -hmm. If that's believable, what you what about Pimp and Ken talking about the Pimp 6 tape? Man, that's crazy you brought up Pimp and Ken. I almost hit this nigga the other day inside Dallas, bro. <laughs> at the motherfucking Wild Green. I said, hey, what's up, OG? That nigga Wild Crop. God damn, boy, I'm finna hit your ass with the car, man. What's up, man? I seen that nigga over. Yeah, I think that, uh... What a ledge sex tape. Crazy though, man. I mean, I'm why? Okay, like, my, I, before you say that, I just want to know is like, I mean, I want my thoughts. I'm gonna say my thoughts first before you say yours. If it's so, <clears throat> and if Pimp C ain't never said nothing about it, why bring it to the light if you ain't gonna tell all? You know what I'm saying? Or put it out there and then right. have people. Guessing or assuming or whatever the case may be, because right. you know the assumptions is uh people are saying that it's allegedly Beyonce on that tape. Mhm, mm that's what I heard. Shh, man, I know one thing. I think Jay probably if, it, if that shit true, he probably shh, 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 drop that dough out, make sure that shit don't don't pop out nowhere. You know what I'm talking about? Right. Do you think that's what the real reason why Pimp C really didn't mess with Jay when? He came down here and uh Ooh, deep. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, when the when he didn't want to do the video, Vaughn did the video. But that that could have been it too. But I just I feel like Pimp though, he he ain't really fuck with them New York niggas like that because at the time, you remember that time back then it was a lot of East Coast and West Coast shit and niggas yeah. wasn't letting the South get in at all. Right. The only thing we had was like Scarface or right, something. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. PMC gave us country to him. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm And then Fat Pat gave us shit. Yeah. The freestyle game. We just like run with it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Fat Pat did that. Yeah, Fat Pat did that. You know what I'm saying? I gotta say, especially them them old gray tapes, you know what uh -huh. I'm saying? Them bitches did a lot for us. Right. Teach us how to rap back then. Yeah, the gray tapes what gray tapes were where it was at. Yeah, That's yeah. I was always on gray tape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, speaking of a gray tape, man, I got a gray tape. Okay. Okay. Long live ink. Hey, yeah. that shit all real. I was going through some shit. I'm explaining right. that shit. Right. Explain it. Talk about it. Man, at that time, I was on the run. I had a blue one. Uh, I had like six years left to do on parole, and I had violated. And they were looking for me. And uh, I was young. I was like in my early twenties. Nigga was just trapping. And I was at that, I was in that era where I want to, I was trying to live what I was rapping. 
You know what I'm saying? So everything I was saying on there, facts. Everybody around me that tell you I was going through that, I was doing that. Right. And uh, I was just trying to give, just be honest. You know right. what I'm saying? To, to give my point of view how I see things. And but now I realize how to do this shit. Now it's right. it's it's more about uh. You know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to show niggas. You know what I'm right. saying? Cause like a lot of us older niggas didn't even do that. That's why right. that's why this shit fucked up out here right now. Right. That's one of the reasons. Oh yeah, that's one of the reasons. Yeah, because he, I mean, it was you. You had to be about what you talk about. You had to walk the talk. You know what I'm saying? And talk the walk. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it was. You know what I'm saying? If not, you're gonna be ran over. Nah, real Cause shit. Because the old, old, older niggas was going to, they were going to get you. Nah, real shit. They were going to get you anytime. They going to cut you out. Nigga, yeah. nigga shit, either nigga, they going to nigga game you, you know what I'm yeah. saying, and get, hit your pockets real quick, yeah. send, send you on a dummy, dummy mission, you know what I'm saying, or yeah, shit, yeah. Or, or shit, hell, or just get on your ass, period. Nah, it's perfect. So, you know, hey, that's just what it was. Man, you went down through there. Oh, okay. no, man, I had to go down through there, man. I had, like I was telling you earlier, you know, I had I had to do my research on it, you know what I'm saying, because... Like, nigga, you got songs from like, Juvenile. Nigga, hold on, hold on, on Juvie. The motherfucking me turk. And that's why I was like, Ever since the first pack of niggas slow, I've been trying to get a million. Fuck crawling on Chrome. Yeah. Putting food on the table is what I hustle for. Uh -huh. hustle for. I'm gonna bleed these blocks to my fucking, fucking feet. feet. So I'm on my come, come up. up. Nigga, trying to stack my hands. Back again. Back again. I got something to tell you about that. I got to know. I'm on the corner. Ain't no bad Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Like, that, that, that shit there was epic when we did that with Turk because. We were like, uh, so what you need to rap? You, uh, she ready? He was like, uh, I need to get my shit. We were like, you need some weed or something? He was like, nah, bro. Yeah, where can I get that boy? Yeah. And this, hey, this he did this right before, after he did this. He went upstate and caught that case. Like, right after he did this song. The one that he did in Memphis. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, we, we had, finally, we went to the West, got the nigga some shit, came back. He shooting up. He was a rapping machine. He did everybody on the team a song. You know what I'm saying? We like, nah. We ain't even really pay that nigga like that. That nigga did that shit for that boy. He was uh, he was on that dope real bad then. Yeah. So like, we worked that nigga like. Damn. Well, he good nigga though. Yeah, he good nigga. Now he back though. You know. Yeah, what I'm he saying? back now. Yeah, I like man. what I see. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like what I see. Yeah, he back now. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm gonna ask my next question. Like, what you think about BG? He back too in the new music BG putting out. I like it. I always been a Jizzle fan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, me too. Shit, goddamn me. They would always kind of compare me out of in the Big Wheel clique out of all of us. They right. would always say I was like the BG out of everybody out of Big yeah. Wheel. Yeah, you was you was the one. You know what I'm <coughs> saying? Like that's what we. That's what got us eyes on Big Wheel. You know what I'm saying? Because before we heard the music, we seen the logo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, on that bike. Oh, oh yeah. On that Oh, the yeah. microphone. And if you're an 80s baby, you know that big wheel nigga with that dragon on the back, nigga. Shit, goddamn me. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, shit, goddamn me. Go on down them hills, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah boy. Yeah. Like, we getting it in. All square business. We set a blaze through this bitch. Like, though. hell, yeah, shit. Nigga, we went from that to stealing bikes, nigga. Putting extra wheels on the front, nigga. Nah, one low, real. one high, hundred bars, nigga. Pigs, all that shit. For real. Hell, yeah, but we do stuff. Yeah, but anyway. <coughs> So yeah, with BG dropping some new hot music though right now though. <coughs> My favorite one, that one with him and Finesse, that Gangsta Five. Oh, that Gangsta Five. Man, I could just play that all the time. Let that be run. Yeah, that he. I think I think it's all of them really been jamming, but the last three that he be jamming, and then he like like I'm just letting know yo, they want that juvie with that gold. Yeah. Well, that's like boy, that's like that bitch right there. Boy. <coughs> I say okay, you know what I'm saying? He's stumping. I've been riding with him since. since Chopper City in the ghetto, heart of the streets, all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So the statements Turk made on Jake Chops. Man, that shit crazy. What do you think about Turk talking about cash money working wearing fake watches? Shit, if they did, they did. I don't think baby should be I seen baby 
Uh, nigga, I ain't never have on nothing fake, nigga. Nigga, my son, nigga, I'm on Gladys, nigga. I was like, damn, bro, it's just, that nigga just talking on, that ain't that serious. Right. Nigga. And he said, I die for this shit. I was like, ah, damn. You want to know something funny, though? What's that? I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm just, because ain't nobody <laughs> else gonna put it out there, so I gotta put it out there. So Turk was saying they was wearing Geneva watches and calling them Rolexes. He said the most ticked. Right. Mm -hmm. But if people do their research, Geneva watch is a Rolex. Whoa. It's made by Rolex. I know. And Geneva watches ain't cheap. <laughs> you can get some cheap ones, yeah, but, them hoes, ones. but yeah. them hoes ain't cheap. Mm -hmm. When you call a hoe Rolex, because cause, cause Rolex made them, they, them bitches made in Switzerland. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then they call them uh, Geneva's because the name of the city that it's made in by Rolex. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, I, I was like... It ain't that serious. Bro. It ain't that serious, you know what I'm saying? I said, I think maybe y'all... <laughs> yeah, bro, they true. I was like, man, they done, they done, I said, they done shun my nigga Turk, boy. They, <laughs> they done cut him off. They cut, they cut about the wheel and everything, bro. I say, nah, hey, man. Hey, y'all niggas better not say nothing about... But nah, man, I mean, man. Man, ain't fucking with him or nothing. Man, say, man, then BG made the song, and you know, and then Birdman, she made the. What wait. did he do to BG? I don't, man. That's crazy. I, I mean, BG say it's the drink champs, and you know, him just, you know, expressing himself online. But I think, you know, I think online is getting, I mean, I think online is getting a little bit too far with certain stuff you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying i think certain stuff sh shouldn't be said online you yes, know what i'm saying yes. certain stuff should be especially when the st uh, statue of limitation and when you're telling your story and depending on how you put it out there yeah. but like like especially like that with that, that, that trenches boy that trenches uh tv whatever from yeah. chicago that went on vlad tv mm -hmm. and got the dude caught up who killed fbt duck you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying and testified you know what i'm saying that was like, crazy like that was know, fucking crazy. That bro. was crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't like, be understanding this shit now. This like, shit is like then, way and then, different. And then half a percent of everybody I noticed that go on Vlad, nigga, you getting locked up. I swear. I know, you getting you getting you, locked up. You better you, get, you better be like Pee Wee Longway. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga looked at that nigga. Nigga, nah, nigga ain't answer none of that crazy ass shit. Man, you get but but the boys be willing to tell it. They be ready. To, they be. Willing to wait right there and tell it though. You that know what I'm saying? Right. It can't. You know, like I know a lot of people want to blame it's it all surprise. on Black, on Vlad. You know what I'm saying? But shoot, it's, it's damn too, nigga. Shit, we say it take two to tank. <laughs> so, man, you see, Boosie ain't letting them ask him no crazy shit. He tried. He did. Look, he didn't ask him crazy shit. But man, Boosie, Boosie the damn nerd and <laughs> slip. You know, and you know, whoop, and then you know, wither. You know what I'm saying? But shit, Boosie, you know. He know how the internet go now, so he just playing it, you know what I'm saying? Yes. He just playing it how it goes, entertainment to him, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And then at the end of the day, he gon' but he gonna express his his truth. Nah, for real. For real. <laughs> and yeah, shit, cause same way, that. same way with Charleston White. Shout yeah. out my boy Charleston White. Oh yeah, Charleston White. Yeah, Charles mm -hmm. White. Yeah. yeah. Shout out Charleston. Yeah. Shoot. Your boy it's your boy Cooks. You know what I'm talking about? I remember you was on a tin can. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you yeah, go yeah. back, you go back, you and Charleston White go back. Oh yeah, shout out Charles and White, man. I know one thing. Yeah, he might be a fool. He be saying yeah. off wall stuff, but then he'll come back and hit you with some real like, like nigga, break you, break you off, make you nah, real shit. make you rethink and calibrate. You know what I'm saying? That, that was that's a, a little, good thing. Yeah, yeah, they was a little older than me. I was uh -huh. young at the time. Like, right, I was down there with uh, you know, uh, I don't know if you ever seen nigga uh, interview King Shoe. King Shoe, I heard of King Shoe. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my Matter fact, speaking of Charles and White. When you when you locked up down there, the same TYC was at. That's mm -hmm. where you started rapping, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's I started getting serious. Oh, oh yeah, no, I, yeah, you know I do that, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Jewel, nigga, drop jewel. Boom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> when I was down there, like I was, I, I ain't, I ain't even capping. Like out of all of, like I was like the best Dallas nigga down there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They. When they wanna uh like they had like a nigga from Houston or San Antonio anywhere, cause all of us from all over Texas, they come get me. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's so what it was down like so so that's well yeah that's how it was in TYC. She got damn me shit. You got yeah it. yeah yeah. So what Charleston was there with you or y'all was just on that same unit? Uh nah, he was on a different dorm. Mm -hmm. But uh like we like when we go to like the wreck and different stuff, we all we all interact with each other like different uh. Dorms of being there with us, like ten of being there with okay. four. Okay. 
You know what I'm saying? On the schedule, they have us in there. Oh, we play against each other, different shit, sports, different shit. Right. That's Charleston White. I, mean, I know he took off. He he, oh, yeah. he, he, he turned this internet See, what he a did, straight competition. What he did kind of, it's like what them people down there taught us, uh, Rebecca Thomas and them with the resocialization, uh, they had, we had therapists, counselors around us. We was in this program called Capital Offender Group. Like, it was just straight for violent offenders and stuff, so they they taught us a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? And he came out and used that shit. <laughs> right. So when I be just watching, I be like, man, nah, sound like, like we in group, you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. All right, so yeah, that, cause that's exactly what he do. Mm -hmm. he, he bring it out of you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He'll hit you this way, mm -hmm. and then you think the nigga tense will throw it off shit that hit you with this with some motherfucking common sense, and then you be like, Shh. Oh, Crazy. nigga, I got a real, a real, I mean, evaluate my motherfucking self. Gotta look at that, I'm over here, that weed, see, boy, see? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I don't do the liquor. <laughs> nah, for real. Nah, for real, but let's get into some deeper questions, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, what was the effect of losing a close friend like PJ Hamm? Man, long live my nigga PJ, man. For real. You know what I'm saying? Long live my week. Man, that shit was crazy, because... It, that shit was crazy because like we had just we had just had uh we just went over there and hung Mac. Yeah, it was like me, me and T Mac, we had just like a day before went over there and uh we were over there doing some more shit, take care of the business. I, I was like, damn, let me jump out. I'm finna holler, I'm finna holler uh hammer real quick. And I was like, hey bitch, check me on just I right, love you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? We dapped each other up. Like but, uh, we had to go. So that was like that was the last time I seen him. He was like, hey, I want you to hear something. But shit, I didn't get to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Shit crazy. Yeah, yeah. So how did it affect your work in, in, in your personal life now? Like, because uh, y'all was rocking. Yeah, hey, yeah. And y'all was on y'all verge, you know what I'm saying? Relaunching this 93 gas to the, to its pinnacle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because, like, he, he had a brand too, Law and Militia. Right. And uh, we were just coming together, like we got music, like they ain't even been dropped, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's like, I, I helped I helped start like the beginning of, uh, of they flow, like I ain't gonna say they flow, or like the, what they got going on in, in, the, in, the, in the hood and all that stuff. Like I was, me, T, Mac, Oliver, we was behind them in, in the beginning of all of that stuff. Then, you know, he took off, you know, we, I ain't gonna say we went different ways, it just, he, he grew, he grew. Right. He elevated, he started getting money, you know what I'm saying? He had his own little, different little clique, entity, entity of different little niggas, you know. That what it was. Yeah. Man, so. Man, this shit crazy. Man, I, I can't even, I can't even, that shit crazy. I can't believe that shit. I'm still like, man, say, I know, I know the feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like, so what's the, what, what are the next steps now? on keeping his name alive and also uh branding this 93 gas i've been talking to his uh to the, like the family because you know i'm close with them right talking to patrice shout out patrice dougie all of them you know what i'm saying i and uh og pat them and i was like i want to uh bring y'all like some law militia like clothing you know what i'm saying like a little set or something and honor my nigga, you know what I'm saying? And shoot the phones to his family, to his little boy, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's some real stuff. That's real talk right there, man. Shout out to the whole family. I hope they doing all right, because I know Shout out I to all the family. Yeah, man. Like, so, I'm going to uh, do some rapid fire thoughts right quick. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And these are all going to be from you. So when I mention these names, I want you to tell me what they mean to you. And whatever your first thought come to mind. Okay. Blowfly. Blowfly. Shit. First nigga I seen grab a mic and was rapping and made me want to rap. At, at, nigga was rapping at our friend reunion. Square business. Square business. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you was telling me that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, and he and, and he got he got deep history in Dallas. Yeah. You know. Um, he did a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? Back then, opened up with ball, yeah. and um, and everybody laid Real, real was, was the a hardest, force. Hardest, yeah, hardest, yeah. hardest, hardest, hardest coming out of Dallas. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out Seven Deuce. Yeah, yeah shout yeah. out Seven Deuce. You know what I'm saying? 
next name is going to be Moen. Man, Moen, shit. The rules of this shit, like, nigga that brought me in the game. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't know no bow leg, no gator man. I wouldn't know no slim thug, never met him. All that shit, all that shit was because Kimfo. Hell yeah, because Mo Wink. Long live Mo Wink. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? Another Dallas legend. You know what I'm saying? Quint Black. Quint Black, another Dallas legend. Shit, I mean, we so close to him, you know, every day. So, you know what I'm saying? He a real nigga. He got open arms for niggas that just, niggas just don't even, like, Niggas just need to come, everybody to come together, link up though. You right. know what I'm talking about? Right. That nigga willing, to, he, he willing to network too. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah for real. Yeah. Shout out Quinn Black. Shout out Quinn Black, man. Another legend. You know what I'm saying? saying? And for the legendary producer, artist. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Platinum. Sir. You know what I'm saying? Uh, movie soundtracks and albums. You know what I'm saying? Not for real. Bowleg. Bowleg, man. That's the homie, that's the big homie, shit. That's, that's the nigga that gave me a shot in the beginning. That that believed in the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hated to see us leave. You know what I'm saying? We still still a part of the Stampede family. You know what I'm saying? Shout out all them boys over there. You know what I'm saying? That's Stampede forever. Yeah, yeah. Nah, for real. Wide frame. Wide frame. That's my nigga, Freddy. Goddamn <laughs> Freddy. We go back. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, <coughs> I got to be around when he was coming up, pull up, pull out the Magnum, all that type stuff, you know what I'm saying? Get ready for the video because we did cable together. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So uh, we traveled out of town and I got to see how powerful uh, his shit was. Like, he he rapped and had the whole apartment's one cable. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Girl, why for him out here? Pull out the man and you already right, nigga. Yeah, yeah, hook me up. That shit crazy. I'm like, God damn, that shit crazy. Well, he did a lot more than that, too. He yeah. had a lot of boys, some hits and stuff yeah. like that. Call me Mr. Hit That Hook. Huh? Call me Mr. Hit That Hook. Nah, for Ooh. real. Ooh. That nigga bad. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They don't even really acknowledge that like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta let them boys say, another legend. Nah, for Four real. Leg, another legend. Everything a legend coming out of this. T Squeeze. T Squeeze, that's the coach. <laughs> coach Squeeze. Circle hey, that. What was that? You remember the real loud music? Corn real loud about? music. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Team. Shout out Josh. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? For real. Shout out T Squeeze Queen. You know what I'm talking about? Cause they they some hard workers. You know what I'm saying? They deserve it. You right. know. They it, you know Kim folk always making moves. He I don't give a damn what he doing. He he calling me every day. Putting us in the mix, he asking about T Mac, you know what I'm saying? And he, hey, so you saying T Mac? And he, he, he got some problems and shit. All niggas, they all together, okay? And I'm telling him, yeah, nigga, Killer Black, nigga, CB, you know what I'm talking about? He ready to put him in the mix just like that. So that's that's love, you know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. Yeah, man. So as a ride slim. Oh shit, that can't fuck. He pressure. Say that man, I the world shit, I just they sleeping on him, man. That that music right there, he in his own lane, man. Like he he need to be right there next to Larry June and Primo Rice, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Real spill. No hat. Yeah, okay. And let's go seven dudes, little ten. Man. That, see, that's Kim folk, man. That's the heart of this shit. That's that's I remember when I before I even thought about like I seen them, him blow flying them on stage, and then Kim folk tried to he tried to pass me the mic. And I was like, nah. Mm -mm. I was like, shit, ever since then, I'll be ready to grab that bitch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shout out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out seven do. You know what I'm saying? He done did a lot of things. So oh, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell like, yeah. Yeah, he's been he's big been, promoter, yeah. big nah for real. Right, you he know was one saying? of the heart and souls and real to real records. You know what I'm saying? Push that blow fly like he will tell you in the heartbeat. You oh, know, yeah. the niggas in the streets will tell you too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna yeah. definitely get him up here. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I wanted, to, I want to talk about what is your take on your legacy in Dallas? Well. 
Dallas people that like they don't look at us like say for instance like we was in H Town, like the way they 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 fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? And in Dallas it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like we don't really big up our we don't give our flowers to our legends, the niggas that then paved the way, but I see big shout out Big Bink with the reunion radio. I see that he making moves shout doing out to that. Time. Yeah, yeah, him and Slick Nick them over there. You know, yeah, Slick Nick, yeah. man, that's my boy, that's my Slick guy. Nick. Yeah, yeah Slick yeah. Nick, you all talking about got history. Yeah, that's Slick Nick, yeah. <laughs> Nick nigga, that's a club nigga. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, that nigga gonna be there. Yeah, yeah, he, he know. club guard. Yeah, he gonna be yeah, everywhere. He, be you know, he know, ditch. you know what I'm saying. Shit, got there, y'all need some bust down. Here's my boy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We smoke good weed, you know what I'm saying? Man, oh yeah, that boy gonna always yeah, yeah. blow. Yeah, that boy gonna yeah, he, that boy gonna blow. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's my boy. Shit, I remember he, I, he was like, man, come over to the crib. I was like, all right. And they gave me the address, man. I shot somewhere, nigga. I was, I was far. Nah, for real. I was like, I don't know where I was. I just know it was just apartments in the middle of nowhere, brand new. I say, damn, fam, where the fuck you at? And like shit, nigga, all the way in the boonies, nigga, just hook up his little studio so he can record and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, do his thing. But shout out to my boy Slick Nick, man. Nah, for real, shout out Slick Nick. But yeah, man. But how come fans ain't see you at the Together Land tour and the Dallas BT Awards with Man to Man Rado, man? Man, I'm, I'm mad. I know you seen the Together Land tour. Yeah. <coughs> I'm mad about that. I, I missed that. <coughs> A lot of people ask me to come out, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I ain't get to make it. And, you know, different shit in life, man, you know? And when you trying to juggle, you know, trying to be a dad, you know what I'm saying, to maintain the bills and different shit. And then so it's like sometimes a nigga <coughs> forget. Square business. I being, sometimes I might be Joseph and then forget, damn, I got to be froze. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Nah, shit for real. crazy. Nah, for real. And I know. I know shit, goddamn me. But shit, you was supposed to be up on that stage. Yeah, I was. You was supposed to be up on that motherfucking stage. That was the to Together Land tour. They brought out a lot of people. Yeah, they did. There was a lot of people who didn't make it too, but it should have been a lot of people, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? But I know it's, you only can I'm do gonna so much. I'm going to be at that next one, though. Yeah, you got to be at the next one. Because y'all know yeah, you only yeah. can do so much. And I and I shout out Bebe, you know what I'm saying? Because Bebe... Yeah. He, you know what I'm saying? Real he, nigga. He, yeah, yeah, baby got got that motherfucker together. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He say motherfuckers say he couldn't do it and he did it. He did. God damn it. Shit. So shout out to Bebe. Shout out to Bebe. Shout you know out what baby. Uh what is the legacy of Big Wheel in your role of putting rainwater on? That shit crazy. Cause uh in the beginning, uh we used to go we used to pick rainwater and little legs up from school. And they used to be uh Riding around with us in the big wheel van, we was, they was really learning how to promote. We was showing them how to promote. You know what I'm saying? I've been knowing him since like he was in uh, and like coming out of school and shit. He used to come up the big wheel and shit, and try to. He used to ride in the vans with us while we was out. You know, we was out the trunk with it back then, and you know, he just learning the game around us. You know, right. oh for real. I know for a fact we uh we the first niggas he ever came around and and, and learned that type of shit from. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's the that was his that was his uh his start, his foot in the in the in the dough. Right yes, there. it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And now he done shit, he done turned Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Made Shout it. Shout out little Lex. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Already two times. Yeah, yeah. So what's the legacy of Big Wheel? You know what I'm saying? Cause that was a that was a force. That was an army. That was a that was a tank at one time. Yeah, it was, man. And uh, right now, I feel like the legacy been in oblivion. Right. So it's up to us to try to keep it alive. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I try to talk to, to to the members and shit, let them know, like, hey, man, y'all still got to, you nigga, we didn't do all that shit for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And niggas ain't even mentioning you now, nah, nigga, because you ain't coming around. You just got to pop out and be back active. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's it. They be playing my shit on the radio. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for yeah, real. Yeah. But shout out all the members and shit. I'm going to tell you, O2 be in the streets, though. Yeah, O2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know O2 be in the streets, man. That's why, I, man, I also heard, man, you know what I'm saying, through the pipeline. You know what I'm uh -oh. saying? 
You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, you got to bump this in the Cadillac, too, with O2? Man, that motherfucker bad, man. Say, man, we got Fat Pimp on that bitch. We got Gator Man on what? that bitch. Say, man, I wasn't even going to spill what? the beans, man. What? <laughs> you, damn, you damn sure know I'm going to my key, my head. Shout out what? Levi Carr. Yeah, 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 he they, killed that bitch. They, Levi Carr. What? Yeah, man. You got Levi on that bitch? This whole special, man. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he good. Yeah, he good. What, man? He good. What, man? Yeah. Yeah. What man. the fuck? Hey, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Man. Shout out O2. Is, is it done? Yeah, it's done. It's done. We got like different versions because we finna do, we gonna do another one. We gonna like an H Town and a Dallas one. Okay. Okay. So we just, but well, right now we we trying to reach out to, uh, who, who, O2, what did he say? Uh, Big X the plug, I think. Big X the plug, okay. So, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. We just gonna try to do a Dallas and Houston one next. Okay. All right. I, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I heard that through the pipeline, man. And I said, what? I say, what? I say, huh? I'm like, who on that motherfucker? Yeah, I've been trying to tell O2, hold on, man, because yeah. I got a bad lack. I got a bad bitch in the garage. You right. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I want to pull that bitch out. I want to. I, I what, 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 what color is it? It's blue. It's blue. You know what I'm okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And you got to put up tuck. Okay, all right. That's for the show. Yeah. Yeah. 89L, dog. Right. Yeah. yeah. What'd you think? Because, you know, Pookie Leroy did that. Uh, the cypher with everybody on. He, I think he dropped two of them. That was nice. Yeah, that was, nice. was nice. Yeah, he dropped two of them boys. What you need, lighter? Yeah, yeah. I got you. But this right here, this is like classic. This is like, boom, putting it back in their face. You know what I'm saying? I think the yeah. culture, I think, I think the Dallas culture need that. You know what I'm saying? We bringing back right. the, something different. You know right. what I'm saying? Cause right. It's kind of, you know, it's it's crazy out here right now. Oh, yeah. Now, it's, and it's when it's wide open, too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like you know, it's either we going to stand on it or we not. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, we going to bring it home or we not. You nah, know what real I'm saying? Talk. And shit, we still old enough to bring it home, god damn it. Shit, Jay-Z brought it home at 40. Nah, real shit. Real shit. <laughs> real shit. shit, what the fuck you mean? Nigga motherfucker me. Who who was that nigga? Uh, what's his name? Barry Gordy. One of them uh, uh, brought it home. I ain't lost the beat. Or something. Nah, shit. real shit. Well, Michael Jackson Thriller. Shit, who was that? Well, Michael Jackson Thriller. What was that Barry Gordy or was that the other one? Um, What's the other one name? Um, I think that was Barry. Nah, I want, was it Barry Gordy? What was the other one name? Uh, like, y'all, man. Nobody say fuck. Everybody say, damn, Mike. God damn. R.I.P. Yeah. Michael Jackson. Yeah, real talk. <laughs> God damn it, Mike. <laughs> no, everybody wanted one of them motherfucking jackets. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Quincy Jones? Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones. Quincy there you go. Jones. There you go. God damn. That nigga, nigga got the weed, nigga. That nigga went back. That nigga. <laughs> nigga, I had to drop my head. Memory. <laughs> Square business. I had to go on my whole other day. No. <laughs> Grab it. <laughs> Quincy Jones. <laughs> well, I want me to goddamn. Michael came back for the spirits. That nigga, get wild, boy. You know what it was. Nah, for real. <laughs> Him and Prince. Nah, hey, you're a Prince. Like, shit, Prince. That nigga, you know I was the best nigga there. Fuck Michael. You know nah, what I'm saying? Real. And nigga, I played everything. Nigga, I did all. I taught everybody how to play what I played. Nigga, I recorded my own vocals, wrote my own songs. Nigga, and did my own dancing, nigga. Nah, and I real. cut the own hole in my booty, nigga. No. <laughs> nah, for real. Like, nigga, ass yeah, cheeks out. Yeah, he got nigga, I did my own lashes, nigga. Nah, R.I.P. Nah, that nigga King. Nah, for real. Nah, nah for real. I just bullshit, dog. <laughs> That shit was wild though. <laughs> oh, but them niggas, but back then the seventies, that's what them boys did though. That's what they, you know, in the seventies, you know, it, it, sh shit, that was another era, nigga. That was that rock nigga, shit. I mean, shit. They got them niggas, mascara them niggas and wearing, shit. Nigga, niggas wearing body suits that the girls wear today. <laughs> nigga, the girls, nigga, that's a full. <laughs> 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 nigga, nigga, nigga got on full body suits, nigga. The motherfuckers had, nigga, her eyeliner, nigga, Rick James and them, nigga had on boot, nigga, high heels, nigga. That's why Easy E will find up Drake mm -hmm. on that uh, yeah, the, real Jay, motherfucking G. nigga Drake on his album cover, Drake was a sheep thing. <laughs> he on that bit with that little, yeah. God damn, that's fucked up. One Piece. 
If I was in the seventies, nigga, I would have had me fucked up, nigga. I would have had on straight tight ass Wranglers, nigga. Nah, for real. Nigga with a white with a, with a white beater, nigga. Shit, nigga. That's all. Motherfucking fro. <laughs> shit, I'm finna split. Yeah, nigga. What, nigga? Yo, you, know what nigga you, you drive turkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you driving fool? <laughs> nah, for real. Like so, where was your mind, man? And where was you, and how was you able to transition from the streets music? And becoming a family man and taking care of your family and kids. Shit, I had uh, start, you know, taking taking life lessons. You know what I'm saying? Making mistakes, and start seeing, you know, start seeing my kids. Start seeing like, damn, hold on, I, I got, I got this. What I need to, it need to end with me. These right. are gonna be different. You know what I'm saying? So it started right there. I started trying to figure out other ways. Learn how to get money, cause you know nigga was hustling. Right. And then she had a bright idea about the ninety three gas shit, and that's what kind of created changing. Like I ain't gotta do that no more, cause this bringing money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the first, the first time me and T Mac made a thousand dollars off that shit. Like we looked at each other like, what the fuck, huh? Not nah, square business, bro. Like. True story, like right. off clothes, like that's when we knew like this shit was like live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, shit. When you know when you put that 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 legal hustle, that shit, that you branded something and it's your own. You build it from the ground up, and you see, and you reap the awards. You like, oh yeah, I can I can do more. I can, yeah, I can we, capitalize. We got a little shop. We got a little shop where we uh, we got a little shop where we uh, where we uh, make all our stuff. You know what I'm saying? Got all of the machines and stuff in there. Right. You just ready to load up with gear and shit. Hell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really, that's why that's how it is. Yeah, show that. 93 gas logo here. 93 gas. Yeah. Puff, puff on some of this gas. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah. Huh? Tell me what's the journey of it. The man? journey. Yeah, tell me what's about the journey, man. Okay. <laughs> shit, I mean. <laughs> We started Exclusive. we started we started this shit like Ridge Crest Ridge Crest apartments, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We was all back there at my partner Giles house, you know what I'm saying? Me, PJ, T Mac, Cheeto, all of us. I was just listening to all these niggas rap. I'm like, shit. Nigga, I know I can get us in the studio and all this. These niggas had the money. Nigga, I, I'm going to pay for the studio time. Nigga, I'm going to get a van and come scoop everybody up. Nigga, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay for the videos. Right. You know, I'll square business. Nah, for real. You know, at the time, because we was kind of, we was scamming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we had the kind of money to play with back right, then. Right, right. <laughs> so, yeah, so... And then so we started turning up. We started coming like I had a bad ass charge. I towed that bitch up. And then like T Mac came through and we was like, T Mac came through in the red charger. And I had pulled out the uh the red Tesla. And then we, we shot them videos in the hood. We were just turning the fuck up. They ain't never seen no Tesla in them in the in them apartments before. Like that was when them hoes first came out, I pulled that bitch through and they was like, God damn. And then we started shooting the videos, and we brought everybody out. This shit was live. Yeah, yo. Man. So how, how, how did you even, or what the, was your the, mind frame with putting Ridge Crest on the map? Because Ridge Crest, that's back there. Yeah, that's back there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like Forgotten Land down there. Mm -hmm. uh, my partner, shout out Moody Long, just came home. Uh, my partner Moody, uh... He was back there. He was back there making songs and shit right before he went to the feds. And I was fucking with him on the music, and uh, that's when niggas started like locking in with me on the music over there and shit. Yeah, yeah. But how did man look? But we had with the clothes. We had everybody in that shit. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, out it, it went from there to all over Dallas. We started putting bumper stickers everywhere. You know what I'm saying? That's why we, I start saying the yeah, I see yeah, them. We bumper. start them stickers everywhere. Then they mm. start they start seeing this. Right. And they start getting familiar with it. Right. I thought it was a smoke shop. Yeah, everybody I, I thought it was a fucking smoke shop. 
I was like, damn, damn, I had one on YouTube one day. And I was just like, damn, where that nigga froze at? <laughs> so I ain't seen this nigga in a minute. You know what I'm saying? So I started looking your ass up and like, fuck this nigga at. Then I seen the video, you in the park and everything. I say, and I seen the 93 gas. I said, oh, that nigga 93 gas. I said, <laughs> okay, all right. See, because, you know, I always say this when I see your ass shit. I know you probably get tired of me saying this shit. Uh -huh. But yeah, good, your, uh, I had met you through your cousin. Uh, old girl, what's her name? Uh, we're out there in Irving, stayed in the project. You used to fuck with the essay, uh, Tiki. Beat Down Production. Tiki. Tiki. Yeah, uh -huh. shout she used down. To rap. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out, uh, B Down Production. Yeah, uh, my nigga Clever. Yeah, Clever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Clever yeah. used to be on there on the reasons over there mm -hmm. on that motherfucking keyboard going hard in the bitch. Mm -hmm. Nigga had the studio in the house. You know what I'm saying? An apartment right That's there. Where I been? Yeah, yeah. Shout out two times for the people that don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of niggas in Dallas done had some holes in the walls, but done have done recorded some legendary shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, facts, 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 man. But man, like. Right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you give your shout outs, I'm gonna let you do your thing, you know what I'm saying? But before I do, I always ask this question before I get off the podcast. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And no, no, before I ask my last question, fuck that. No, nah, fuck that. Now nah, we're gonna do this shit right. We're gonna do this shit right, nigga. He got, he got me fucked up. Hold on, now nah, he got me fucked up. I, I gotta get one in because the blunt, cause the blunt, nah, the blunt is still good. You know what I'm saying? The blunt's still good. Now, nah, nigga, we, we finna do, we, we finna get a freestyle in in this bitch. Fuck it. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. I, I think I just forgot to get a freestyle in in this bitch. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know, should I record it off my phone? Uh, should I record it or should I have it pre-recorded? Let me see what I got here. Let me see what I got. Let's see what I got here. Hold on, hold on. Let's see what I got. Hold on. All right. Let's see. Let's hit this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Let's go, y'all. Oh, yeah. It's going down. Hey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. Nine through K. I had to stack it up. I had to get it, man. I had to go get a bag for sure. And I know I'm with it, man. Start what I finish, man. Smoking on spinach, man. 93, 93. I throw it up and show you I'm with it, man. My nigga spinning, man. Tasman and Devil, we got that metal. We send a nigga to the devil. Niggas don't play with me, we in this game. Whoa. Let me slow down my flow. Stacking up a lot of dough. Represent 214. Delatex. For sure, and I keep it real, and it's real. And me and my niggas, we get it. We back in the day, like real to real. And me and my niggas stack real. Got partners just locked behind steel. And I'm shooting them kites, and I'm shooting them food. And the nigga, these know it. We keep it rude. Yo, whoa, shout out CBY. Whoa, shout out my nigga Black. Whoa, T Mac, we in this bitch. Showing these niggas just how to attack. I gotta get it, and that's a fact. Whoa, long live Hammer Gang. Stepping on niggas' mane, and I had to get in and stack up some chains, yeah. But I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just off the head playing, showing boys that I'm slaying. Any beat that I'm touching, I'm playing. Whoa. Well, I'm standing niggas land, boys talking down spraying, yeah. We on the block, gotta get it. All of my souls, we with it, let's get it. Yeah. Oh, whatever I start, I can finish. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about the critic. Oh, yeah. Get a little bit such a healing. Yeah, yeah. Slap on the hand and I do it. I'm with it and I jump in the motherfucking shot when I go to the good. Yeah. Gotta go bit by on the block. Stab me up a knock. I gotta get it. Two sessions left on the clock. I take the shot. I had to get it and stab me a knock. I had to do it and make it a lot. And I had to turn it back in, make it a profit. Quap. <laughs> yeah, man. Just fucking around, man. Just playing with it. Yeah. Hey. hey. I'm in the bit with loud on TV and these niggas know me. I been a G, representing for the 9-3. Representing with you, P. Do this shit, nigga know me. I gotta stack it in the D. Nigga, they see us, we still with it. Gotta stay up on it, nigga still with it. Whoa, whoa. Man, I'm full of that good, man. Say, yeah. it got me in here, man. You know what I'm saying? We in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. Yeah. Hey, yes, you know what I'm saying? It's going down.
going down. You know what I'm hey. saying? Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? That nigga hit the flow for me. You know what I'm hey. saying? Oh, that be hard. That be hard. Yeah, that be hard. Yeah, that be hard. Yeah, that be hard. hard. You know what I'm saying? I had, I said, I'm pull this hoe out right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had another one. I was like, nah, this is it right here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 hey. You know what I'm talking about, Lord, I'ma listen Ayy, yeah One more time before we go Yeah, I gotta do it for sure And I gotta get it And I gotta do it for true and do it for Joe I gotta get it Every day when I'm out, I gotta go and resco yeah. We slangin' shirts and slangin' this merch like peas for niggas don't know Whoa. Representing 214 for Dallas, nigga, you know we hold it down Whoa. We ain't worried about nothing We pioneers and we got the crown Whoa. Hey, we spinning round and round, round and round. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking nigga, come from out of town. Yeah, oh, hold up, nigga. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hold up. Yeah. Nigga, hold on, jump, jump right over in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn, nigga, what? Nigga, triple D that shit, nigga. Bitch, nah, nigga, for real, triple D that. <laughs> nah, for real. <laughs> Yeah, jump in on that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, like, fuck it, nigga, just jump in on that hoe. Nah, for real. <laughs> man, so, man, I mean, I do got a last question, but I got to ask a question before the last question. God damn me. I know I'm ignorant, you know what I'm saying? I told you, my mama said I came out ass backwards, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know what that means, you know what I'm saying? But that's the way I came out, nigga. So, when I was asking you the, all them names and your thoughts and what first came to mind, <clears throat> I skipped the name. I guess I saved it for last. Uh oh. JoJo. Joe Cool. Big Joe. Oh man, that my pops, man. That's that's the heart and soul of it. That's <clears throat> that's uh shit who really introduced me to uh shit basketball. When he put the ball in my hand, I fell in love with it right then and there. You know what I'm saying? I always started on every team I played for. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we used to be, me, Mo Inc., and my cousin, uh, Lil Mike, we used to be beating and shit, beating on shit. And he used to get tired of that shit. And we t fucking up his Isley Brother tapes, everything. Sticking tissue in them all, recording over them bitches. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Back in the day, Nick stick that yeah, tissue yeah, yeah. in them yeah, niggas. Record. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we recording over his cameo tapes and shit, rapping yeah. on them all, cussing, he hearing and getting mad. But one day he came in with this little thing called a rap master. Mm -hmm. That bitch had a scratch on it. That bitch had beats already in it. Mm. That's when we started rapping. Oh, we was okay. like, nigga, we can make a rap, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's when we started rapping right there. Nah, okay. That's why I say shout out my daddy, Man, Big shout Joe. Shout out Big yeah. Joe. You know what I'm saying? Square business. And Paw Paw and Nana. Man, that, 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 that the hard soul of it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Sam Deuce. He's still over there stomping down in the same house. That uh that they had, you know what I'm saying? Right. And uh that's legacy. They 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 had like twenty some kids, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. All my auntie and them was, Okay. It's a lot of it's yeah. a lot of grandkids, it's a lot of us, my family big. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out to all the Rollets, you yeah. know what I'm saying? The Rollets. You know what I'm talking about? Shout and all out. them cook boys. Yeah. Them cooks boy. Cooks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Man, I gotta talk to you about them cooks, man. <laughs> yeah, they gotta oh, go lower, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm related to some cooks. Yeah, I'm a cooks. Yeah. Too. Yeah, I'm related to a lot of cooks, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of them in East Texas too. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, oh yeah, man, shout out. See, see how it be a small world, you know, yeah. when you just talk and you really get on the podcast and you get to know a person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can shoot the shit, but get to know a person. You know what I'm saying? Not real like, shit. Like that's, I think that's what we really forgot. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's all about the tabloids, but you don't really get to know a person, man. Mm. So my last question of the night is, and you know this question, but it's my question. If you was in my shoes. <coughs> What question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? Uh, <coughs> shit, uh, what do we plan on doing to uh, to fix the problem we got that's in Dallas? 
uh, it's a lot of sh- lot of stuff need to be addressed. Like uh, we we can't even we can't even go kick it and party nowhere. But I've been seeing in South Dallas, they've been I seen the whole city out there the night. This shit, everybody just out there having a good time, and we can start back coming out having a good time without nobody trying to slide on niggas or whatever that shit. You know what I'm saying? The city, we can we can start having some vibrant shit, but like shit, deep Ellum scene, you know what I'm saying? That's all right. Right. I I think that we just need to uh, come together and work together. Like stop thinking we we bigger than the other other niggas and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'll work together, and then this shit'll work. Right. And flood that market. That's what the Mace Town niggas did. That's what they did. They came. And matter of fact, they even came together with the North Side. Joe that's did. a whole nother That's a whole That's all across the other side You gotta go all the way around 59 Come back around Go yes, up sir. You know what I'm saying Like So Nah I feel you on that You know what I'm saying Like I like the Like the, the niggas that's out there Trying to stay down though Shout out Mr. Bush You know what I'm talking about Mr. O'Cliff Yeah Mr. O'Cliff Bush Yeah yeah He Man say Bushy Oh yeah He don't Man I'm talking about from r- Rapping to CDs in the stoves to clothes, the, the studio to, yeah. you know what I'm saying, throwing shows. He's from Diamond D. No yeah, man, from Diamond man. D. And then, shout out Diamond D. What I'm saying? <laughs> man, once again, Diamond D. Name and got brought up again. Diamond D. You getting up on here. Believe that, boy. Nah, for I, real. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, Diamond D. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be the first one, you know what I'm saying, in Dallas to have Diamond D. Up here really. You know, tell his story because he really did put it in for a lot of more C- work. R.I.P. Simo. Yeah, you know R.I.P. Simo, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, man. But Dallas gonna get it together. I think. Um, I think it's time. I think a lot of us coming out of retirement. Everybody just like, you know, wait a minute. You know, like it ain't over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially with the new tools. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, hell, they going back to hand over fish. You know what I'm saying? We People buying straight, buying your album straight from off your website. You know what I'm saying? They want to buy directly from you. You know what I'm saying? real spill. Yeah, yeah. It's coming back around. But records still selling. Nigga, CDs still selling. I know Josie CD still, records still open over there. Yep. On 75. What is it? 635. That shit finna take off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? All this shit. CDs finna be back worth something. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Everything finna be back worth something. Everything mm-hmm. you do finna be worth something. Because, man, nigga tired of uh, your motherfucking internet trying to give a nigga a penny. I mean, a fraction of a penny. Not even that for some streaming and all that. You got to work. They like they overworking, especially like. Thanks. I can't even say what I want to say because I because YouTube might take my video I'm down. Trying to <laughs> tell you. Because it's real You know what I'm saying Because I'm like Shoot Even YouTube You know Kind of You know Shoot They got they got. But when you say You got that hand They got that hand Boy Yeah yeah You know So but uh, Like I said I appreciate you coming in I want to let you know That you you. are A Dallas legend A Dallas pioneer A Dallas icon You know what I'm saying And I'm going to forever Forever Let that seat right there Be open for you You know what I'm saying To express To see uh, How you doing What's going on in your life? What you, what your uh, accomplishments? You know what I'm saying? What you're building on? You know what I'm saying? And and how that gas like? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How that gas like? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So man, like any shout outs? You know what I'm saying? Should your flow is yours? Uh, I'm gonna uh, say shout out to uh, everybody. You know uh, that hold it down. You know Black Chalk. You know what I'm talking about? CBY Black. You know what I'm talking about? CB. You know what I'm talking about? Long live PJ. Shout out, you know what I'm saying, Cheeto. You know what I'm saying? And uh, welcome home, Moody. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, the print plug, my nigga Doughboy. You know what I'm saying? Showed me how to put these clothes together. We about to collab on some major shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, y'all want, y'all want, you know what I'm saying? Good. <laughs> Nah, man, man, I, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so excited. Just, to, you know I'm saying? just so excited that when y'all see, when y'all, when this shit come out, y'all gonna be like, oh, I see what that nigga was talking about. Yeah. Nah, for real, you made, yeah. you did, you did it once. Nah, fuck that, you did it twice. Hell, and you can do it again. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. 
Like shit, nigga, it ain't no motherfucking age, age limit. And I, I feel like a, I feel like anybody that I age, we can step back in the background and still be in the forefront if you choose to. It's all about how you do it. You know what I'm talking yes. about? Like I'm gonna talk my shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just all about knowing your business. That's it. You got That's your right. business together. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't give a fuck how old you is. You That's know what I'm right. saying? If you feeding and you providing for your family, you know what I'm saying? If you able to come home and lay your head down at night, you know what I'm saying? You successful. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, man, I'm going to always, you know what I'm saying, like I say, big up, froze only. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out all Dallas motherfucking legends. You know what I'm saying? Support our motherfucking city. And yes, we sir. about this biatch. Yes, sir. <laughs> Three words. Welcome to the feet. Hurt to slay. Yeah. Better yeah. off the worst to the good. I'm bad. I'm too 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 bad